Dresser Kitty 20 here. Today we're going to draw a baby fox to celebrate fall. So let's get started. To draw this cute baby fox, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a small circle, not too big. And I'm going to come right across, a little bit wider, so you said about right there, and draw another circle. Actually, this one is way smaller right now. I'm looking at my camera. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger. Okay, so now that my circle's in, I'm gonna come to the top right here and just add a, another small circle for a highlight and shade everything else in. Since it's not too big, I decided to just make it a regular eye and not a draw so cute eye. Just don't have enough space. So right there, just gonna add a little highlight and shade everything else in. fix this wobbly circle. Okay, so then now I have my eyes in. Let's come in between the eyes, say about right here. And I'm just gonna draw a curve for our nose. Round it off and connect. And I'll come in here, add a little highlight and shade it all in. <coughs> Another. And now that my nose has come underneath the nose right in the center and we're going to draw a mouth. So two curves from the center come out and just cap it off. <laughs> there. And then, oh, I almost forgot. Let's come above each eye. We're just gonna draw a soft curve there. And so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead. We're gonna start to frame the face. So everything is gonna start from this nose. I'm gonna go up nice and high at an angle. So let's just go, let's see here, go up, so just play around with this angle, but about right here, right above the eye, I'm going to start to round it off, so right above the eye, so same thing here, just try to match that same angle on the other side, and right above the eye, the same height, about right here, we're going to round it off. Then from there, we're going to bring this curve down. So we're just creating this kind of triangular shape for our fox. So just keep that in mind. And we're going to come down to about where the eye is, about right here. And then we're going to come in. So same thing on the other side. So kind of where the eye is. And then about right here, we're going to start to bring it in just like the other side. So creating this triangular shape. Then from there, we're going to bring this in. And bring this part in. So just gonna go back and forth. So this part right here, I'm gonna go past this eye to about right here. And there, and then this part is gonna come in a little bit more. To about right here. There, okay. So then now that we have that, so this part comes in a little bit, and this is about right here. We're going to um, come back to the top, I mean, come back to this part, to the bottom. And about right here, I'm gonna to start to thicken this up. So I'm just gonna give myself a point. This part is gonna be thinner. I'm gonna go up. And about right here, just following that curve we created, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go create the top of our head. And so let's go up. Find my center about right here. And we're just gonna bring a curve all the way to the top and then come back down. So we're gonna draw the same thing on the other side. Sorry, this part is just so delicate, right? I had to make sure I knew what I was doing here. So let's bring this down. And once again, we're just following that curve we created and then bring this in. And let's see here. So this curve is going to stop a little bit short. So the reason I'm having a little bit 
of trouble is here because this part right here that we're drawing is not completely centered. So now that we have these two gaps in here, I'm gonna come down and create the chest area. So just notice this side here comes in more and this is a little bit uh, short of being centered. So we're gonna come down and then this part is gonna come out a little bit more. It's gonna angle a little bit more. And then we're just gonna go ahead and connect it to a little body. So this is kind of like the tummy chest area and then connect there. Okay, so then from there, we're just gonna come in and thicken this part up. And come in. And then this part, bring it in to about right here. And then we're gonna pop it out. So now I'm looking at my camera. This part should be a little bit higher. And in. Okay, so then we're just gonna pop this out for the back. And then bring it down to about right here. So hopefully I didn't overcomplicate that, but just notice you just want to create this shape on this side to make it look like it has the, the back of it to give it more of a side view. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come down and I know I'm going to pop in some of these cute little feet. So about right here, I'm going to stop and just draw a curve and connect. I'm going to come right next to it, but right here and draw another one. So this is a very simplified cartoon little baby fox. And one more. So about right here towards the back, skip a little bit more space, make it a little bit longer and connect everything. There. And come in here and draw two little lines on each one. From there, let's come back up here to draw the ears to complete the look. So now I'm looking at my camera. I'm just gonna pop this out a little bit more just to make it a little bit rounder and not so sharp. Okay, there. And then let's come back about right here and nice and high. I'm gonna say about right here. I'm just gonna come in and draw these fox ears. Round off the tip and bring it down. And I'm just gonna draw the inside. So just follow my outside and Completed. So let's draw the same thing on the other side, but right here. And, and right here. Let's go across right there. Just gonna drag this across. It's approximate. Round off the tip and bring it down. And once again, just draw the inside following the outside. There. Okay, so we have the ears and it's getting there, right? Now we have to draw the beautiful tail. So about right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop out this really long fluffy tail. Go nice and high to about right here. And about right in this area, I'm gonna round off the tip and bring it right back down. And in. And then about right here, I'm just gonna break it up. So about right here. And just taper it in. Okay, so, and oh, and also for almost forgot right about here. Just thought it'd be really cute to just add three little curves. So we know it's nice and furry. And of course, I'm gonna add a heart right here to make my jaw so cute, F baby fox. And let's see here, let's come back here. Let's give our fox a little bit of scenery because it is fall. So I have some grass and you can even add a little, well, no dandelions in the fall, right? So let's add some fall leaves that are falling down. So about right here, let's go ahead and just draw Some fall leaves. And another one here. 
I'm just trying different shapes. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. And one more right here. there and that is pretty much it for this baby fox um cute little baby fox that i saw on this cute little baby blanket <laughs> i couldn't resist uh being inspired by it and drawing my version of it and i really hope you love it i helped you out today and if i did please make sure to uh give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos see you later